Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick update on Selenium Java Selenium training batch that we are starting from 17th August. And you can find all the details on my website. The timings will be 7 a.m. IST or if you are in EST, that will be 9.30 p.m. EST and or you can join at 6.30 p.m. EST also for the U.S. folks. In this training, a lot of good things that we have added with respect to uh, Java, Selenium, end-to-end -end framework with proper infrastructure setup, DevOps activities with respect to test automation, and a lot of other infrastructure things that we have added. So you will find all the details over here. You just need to fill this particular form and then do the registration. And uh, these are the different payment options are available. You can just uh, go through with the payment option. I quickly go through a course content because... Uh, We'd never compromise in the language because the programming is very, very important to understand Selenium and you have to learn Java before learning Selenium. So Java Selenium, I must say that 70, 80% market is still captured with Java with Selenium and Selenium is still leading in the market as compared to Cypress and the Playwright. There are many, many, uh, I would say, uh, surveys and the polls are available in the market and then you can see uh, still people are using selenium and the demand is very very high if you really want to start your career in automation please start with selenium web driver so the training uh, content is designed in such a way that we will cover all the java parts before java we will never proceed further and you will not enjoy learning selenium and framework and automation without programming so we will improve all the java concepts and various java things that we are going to talk about I will make you perfect in Java and then how exactly Java works with the proper implementation, with the proper examples and everything. We will cover all the object-oriented programming concept with the core Java. We are going to cover that and some really, uh, I would say, advanced concepts also that we have added like streams, lambda, collections, manipulations, um, you know, a lot of uh, uh, object-oriented program-based um, uh, questions, patterns also we have added over here. Then we, once the Java part is completed, then we will cover all the Selenium things. And with respect to Selenium, we are going to talk about a lot of good things about uh, all the core features of Selenium. We are going to talk about a lot of uh, important, important features which are available with Selenium 4. And we are not going to cover Selenium 3 because Selenium 4 is the latest trend in the market. And you should know what are the different new changes happened with Selenium 4 with respect to CFT, with respect to a new Chrome browser, and then what are the new changes happened from Selenium 3 to 4 with respect to architecture. Now we are using uh, W3C WebDriver protocol instead of JSON wire protocol. So we are going to cover those things. And then all the core features and important uh, features of uh, Selenium, we are going to cover that. So a lot of good things. We will focus majorly on the locators, web elements. I will make you perfect in XPath, CSS selector, Complex to complex uh, expa that you can create it. Complex to complex CSS selector also you can create that after this particular training. So then some really interesting scenarios, very complex scenarios like web table and then paginations, different checkboxes inside the web table, radio buttons and everything. A lot of good concepts with respect to Selenium weight. Still people are doing mistakes at the time of interview. They are not able to answer it properly that what do you mean by synchronization, weights, alerts, switches, pop-ups and everything. We are going to talk about that. And there are some new changes happened with respect to actions class also in Selenium 4. Actions class for the mouse over and the mouse movement and the keyboard actions that we are going to talk about that. So I'm just not going to write now each and every bullet point here, but you can just go through with the documentation here and the complete syllabus, you can refer it here. But some really complex UI scenarios like handle edge component, complex calendars, web table with paginations, infinite page loading like Pages scrolling on LinkedIn, Facebook, food delivery, web apps, complex shadow DOM, SVG elements, complex frames, iframes, nested iframes, inner frames, pseudo elements, page weight use cases, element weight use cases. So these things are the most important thing that everyone has to learn and everyone should know the basic concepts, how exactly that we have to design the scenarios with respect to these UI use cases. Then we will start the SNG framework, end-to-end -end SNG. We are going to talk about there are some really amazing features and uh, and some really um, hidden features are there in the test engine that we can use it with our framework and in the framework remember in automation there is no as such like kind of project because the automation framework is should be a generic framework you should know the design patterns you should know how exactly we can design the framework what are the different components utilities how to write the page classes how to write a test classes that's what 
very important instead of uh, you know um, typically asking the question a lot of people they ask this question like can you create automation framework for the only for the hr application or e-commerce application no it's not like that in automation framework matters you can apply the same framework concepts on any application or any web application so an automation framework what are different modern frameworks or approaches are there in the market we are going to talk about that like what do you mean by buy locator strategy non-page factory or page factory design pattern single responsibility pattern data driven hybrid driven and then various uh, other uh, component designing also we are going to talk about that so we are going to pick one live uh, e-commerce application and we are going to design one end-to-end -end hybrid framework with the page object model design pattern which will cover all the different components whatever we uh, use in the real-time projects it will cover everything almost uh, all the different components we are going to talk about it my training is not like that only two days of framework and two days of uh, uh, basic Jenkins and that's it. No, the framework itself will take around at least uh, two to three weeks of training only for the framework. We will design many pages, different use cases and different uh, various uh, standards or industry standard that we are going to follow with respect to patterns, the coding and the automation point of view. And once the framework is ready, then we are going to talk about a lot of DevOps activities like uh, continuous integration and um, Okay, one more thing that before that, we are going to talk about extend report, LAO report, different custom reporting tools also we are going to generate it here. And with DevOps, we are going to talk about that. What do you mean by CICD, PR processes, Jenkins, and then I'll make you perfect in the Git repositories in the Git process also. Along with that, a lot of continuous integration with respect to Blue Ocean, Jenkins pipeline, classic view, Blue Ocean pipeline, all those things we are going to talk about that and how to generate the report like extend report, LAO report, SNG report, GitHub and everything, what do you mean by Git fork? How to push your code? What do you mean by merge request? What do you mean by merge conflict? Local branching concept. These are very famous interview questions. Plus, very, very important when you join a new company or new team that how to use Git commands properly. Because without that, you cannot survive in the project. What if tomorrow I'm your manager? I'm saying, okay, hey, can you please raise a PR? And if you have no idea, what is the right process of raising the PR or working in the real time projects in the collaboration with other? or developers or engineers also. So that's what like it will give you a lot of confidence the way we work in the real time projects. Exactly same thing we are going to talk about that as well. We have a couple of sessions on the Cucumber BDD also in the training. Uh, I have not explicitly mentioned it, but it's part of your uh, this particular batch as well. Then the Maven lifecycle also plays a very, very important role. We have to learn one, at least one build automation tool like Maven. We are going to talk about that. What do you mean by Maven lifecycle, different Maven commands. What do we mean by create, compile, run test, packaging, installing, deployment plugins, various different types of plugins, how to create a normal jar, how to create a fat jar, what do we mean by Nexus deployment, uh, using a deployment plugin and everything, we are going to talk about that. Other than that, with the Jenkins, we are going to talk about a lot of third-party tools like ngrock proxy, webhooks with the Git, how to auto-trigger your jobs, how to schedule your jobs, how to send the email notifications, how to integrate with the third-party systems like, okay, wherever you have to push the code, automatically it will be triggered with the NGROC proxy. So how to use that? How exactly we work in the real-time projects so that my uh, CACD pipelines every day it's running or every night it o'clock in the, uh, it's running and in the morning I can see the results. So this is the way we work in the real-time projects and exactly same thing we will try to replicate in the training as well. Then we have uh, added some amazing things with respect to Docker also. Because infrastructure part is very, very important. It's not like you are just running your test cases locally. Nobody runs the test cases locally in the real-time projects. Local develop, local execution only for the local development where I'm writing some test cases and then run it and that's it. But end of the day, we have to run our test cases on some infrastructure. Maybe you are using some third-party tools like browser stack or Lambda test, but those are very expensive solutions. But then if you really want to set up on-premise uh, solutions then docker aws all those things will come into the picture with selenium grid so i'll tell you how to create a selenium how to use selenium grid what do you mean by dockerized yeah. grid what do you mean by docker composer what do you mean by selenoid the custom grid which are available uh, what are different custom grids are available in the market like selenoid and all those things and then how to set up your own browser lab or aws with the different browser versions we are going to talk about that so that's what you can see the aws amazon services we will take one hardware on the EC2 instance and then we will create all security groups, VPC, subnets and everything. We will try to set up 
a custom selenium grid or dockerized grid or we can say one solenoid grid also with the help of docker on the ec2 machine and then we will see how exactly we can execute the test cases on that particular environment with the proper CICD pipeline. Okay, so that is what we are going to talk about it. And other than that, we are going to talk about repository management like Nexus integration with the Maven, how to create your artifacts with snapshot or release artifact, how to create a common automation framework, which will work for all the uh, teams or different teams in your company, in your organization, how to work at the architect level also, and how to work at the beginner level also. So this is what uh, the training is all about with the all the Git videos, GitHub videos will be uh, distributed to you also. And I have more than 150 to 200 uh, free PDFs also available. Code repositories also will be shared with the lifetime access. If you miss any session, uh, you will be getting the recording also on a daily basis and uh, you can watch it anytime. And uh, important notes, PDFs, ebooks, recorded videos, everything will be given to you with the lifetime access so you can just go through my uh you know the feedback and everything although i don't put much things over here but this is like i thought okay maybe it will be a clear picture to you that of what exactly people are thinking about the training and there are a lot of lot of success stories uh, from the training so if you are having any kind of uh, questions you can go through it you can mail me i have given my email id over there as well my phone number also it's given over here so you can just go through it and then in case of any issues, you can just uh, uh, WhatsApp me on this particular number, which is given here and you can mail me as well. You just need to fill this form, do the registration and send me the email from 17th August. Today is 15th August, 17th August, Monday to Thursday, four days in a week, we are going to start. And for US folks, it will be Sunday evening to Wednesday evening. So if you are interested, please uh, feel free to register for it. If you are if you have any friend or colleague who are looking for the Java Selenium infrastructure and the framework end-to-end -end training, please uh, ask them to share or ask them to register for this particular training. That's all for this, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll keep uploading the videos on YouTube as well. Till then, take care and God bless you all.